Happy Veterans Day all. This is Charles McCutcheon speaking and I made this video. And it is a parody, so don't get all hype about it. I'm just talking about my journey as a veteran. That's all I'm doing. So I started out, as you see at the top picture, I did the enlisted side, then I got to see the officer's side, and that's my beautiful mom right there. And I decided to cross over when I was enlisted. So I went to the officer's side to see how everything was. Very different from what I thought it was going to be. It was just very different. So I had to take a seat, and I was hanging around trying to figure out how long I was going to stay. I was a real in the real Navy. I wasn't some fake type of person that was trying to, you know, perpetuate that I was in the military or thing, anything like that. But I was a beast at what I did. I was a beast at what I did, and I had a dream. I was dreaming like, okay, I know there's more out there. What can I do to go get it? You know, that was my thing. I looked at everything about it, and I wanted to be in control. So I sat back and I said, I, I have a dream. And my dream, as I was in, I was looking like the islands. You know, where could I go? You know, where can I just lay my head down and just relax? So I cut the cake. You know, I cut the cake, and I decided to walk it out. And as I did that, I said, they're going to have to show me, like I'm from Missouri, you know, we we'll just take it back to the basics and go to school. That's what we're going to do. And I'm bad. Truthfully, the way I look at it, you know, there's not any other thing I can look at. So I decided to relax a little bit. And the stories they were telling me, you know, I laughed because, you know, that's all you can do at some of the times. The, the stories that are being told while you're in the military. And then you can look at it. You can just write a book with it, really. The way I look at everything. But you just grin and bear it. But you still have to shine. No matter what happens, you're going to shine Keep looking out and keep moving forward, but you're going to strap your boots on like everybody else. So I'm in my office. I'm sitting down, chilling. I'm thinking about food. You know me. I'm thinking about, you know, what we about to eat. So everybody coming in to the office, and they start gathering around and clapping and saying, I made it, I made it. And I'm like, what are you talking about? You know, I'm laid back. I'm still going to chill. I'm cool. I'm cool with it. They said, the video shoot, the shoot that, you know, you're going to do for the Navy is a promo video. And I start thinking, like, what am I going to wear? Oh, my goodness. You know, I made this thing. You know, am I going to wear a suit? Am I going to just, uh, shoot, I know it's for people, you know, coming into the military, but I'm just thinking, like, I want I want to present myself, you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm a beast out there. I'm a beast out there. Then I said, if nothing changes, you know, really, if nothing changes, then nothing changes. So I said, okay, I'm going to sit I'm sitting down again, and I'm looking around the squadron, and I'm thinking to myself, like, you know, who could they get? Do they have to choose me? Like, really? We got some good-looking guys out there. I mean, well, then again, uh, yeah. So I had to make a command decision. I made a command decision. I'm sitting back thinking about it. And I was like, well, you already cool. You cool. So just sprinkle some on them. That's all. So I said, okay, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit on them. So I had to ponder a little bit. You know, we sit back, we ponder. And then I decided to let everybody know, okay, breaking news, everybody. This was going to happen. This was so I laid back and I'm cool. And they telling me how I'm going to do this. And I was like, oh, no, baby. What are you doing? And they said, well, we need to do this, we need to do that. And I'm like, well, you're not French. What you talking about we? I think I'm just going, you know, I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to sit this one out. So I just couldn't see what they was talking about. Y'all know me. I'm laid back. I'm just laid back. I'm relaxed. I'm just sitting back and just thinking about everything that's about to take place. That's what I'm doing. But I knew it wasn't going to be easy, so I can just ball up my fist and give them five the hard way. So they got me up on this, this stand no harness, nothing that's going to catch me. I was like, this is not even cool. I may have to call the police if something happens because I'm not even about this life type deal. If I fall, is Doc going to be there? Who's going to be there? So they said, man, you money, you money. Just keep going. Keep doing what you're doing. After I finished it, everybody was happy, you know, happy day, blah, blah, blah. Cheers, toast, whatever you want to call it. Me, I still haven't eaten yet. I'm thinking about food. I'm thinking about food and a little bit of candy. Can't hurt. You know, anybody, everybody love Reese's. Stop playing. And I could have quit, but no, we're going to keep it moving. We're going to keep it moving. So it was time to me to transition on and move out. And I was just saying, please let me get out the military. You know, my time has come. I was a little down, a little green and everything like that. And I just couldn't figure out, you know, what else they wanted me to do. I needed my independence. You know, I'm still hungry. I love, y'all know I love breakfast. Stop playing. I'm just trying to wave my goodbyes. They said I can go. I was like, oh my goodness, thank y'all so much. So I'm going through the retirement phase. And I was like, oh, I just cannot wait. And I'm just thinking of everything that I can do. Now that I'm out, I was like, ooh, it's about to be on. I'm about to be mean out here. And I got to meet a lot of great people. 
Right there is Carl Bashirs. He was the first African American to become a U.S. Navy master diver. And if you ever saw that movie Men of Honor, if you haven't, go see it. It has Cuba Gooden Jr. in it playing his role. I mean, that's it's just to even be around him was just magnificent. And then you have to look at, you know, there's still homelessness around the country as far as veterans are concerned. So I have the nonprofit Jim's Miracle for Help, helping the homeless, and it's still needed by all of us to support because they gave everything they had and now we should be giving back. And although we look at Veterans Day and we know it's for veterans, I know Memorial Day is a whole nother day, but I would be remiss if I did not bring up two sailors who are not here, Ben and Parker, from the USS Peterson, DD-969, we called it a proud peak. Now, I bring that up, I know some people kind of, well, you're not supposed to be doing it during Veterans Day, and okay, I get it. I get it, I get it, I get it. Let's just have a moment of silence for these fallen heroes that are not here, and now we're here, so we can celebrate Veterans Day. How about that? You like apples? Moment of silence. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I thank you for watching this. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it. And last but not least, game blouses. Y'all have a good night.